Hello. 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 There you go. <laughs> hey you, welcome to today's video. Now many of you have been asking us what to do in Singapore or where to go. We are currently in a new place. But before I tell you where this place is, I'm going to show you the place first. Let's see who can guess where this place is. Okay, before I share where this really exciting place is, please help us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel if you haven't, and also turn on the notification bell. Now, what we love to do is actually to take you along with us as we travel and share with you more about places that you probably haven't heard or haven't known about. This is a place where many shops sell really cheap things and they are also very fun and interesting. The first time I knew about this place, I was actually very lost because there are so many rows of shops. There's this shop here called the My Choice Fashion House. They sell a lot of things that you use in the toilet and also for fashion and makeup. I love to get my shampoo here. The lady who works in there knows pretty much anything about your scalp your face, your skin, you're pretty professional. Walking on the line of stores, you see a lot of these very interesting products. Even though they are like pop-up stores, they have been open for many years. So it's afternoon now, and of course you can see many of the shops are closed. But this market is one of the best market within the area of Aogang, Serangoon, Pongol, and even Amokyo, because our food that they have, it's all very fresh and clean. It looks so appetizing. When you compare what they have to what the local markets have like NTUC and cold storage they do have things that look really green and you know it makes you feel like so excited to buy their vegetable because it looks so fresh when people in the market you see sell things like seafood it looks really fresh when you come around like the afternoon period the easy pricing makes it really enticing to buy even a sea bus is much bigger than those that you find at local markets do you have a market around where you live that is pretty much similar to this and if yes do they actually put the food in such a way because I do know a market in Aogang and they do have fresh produce too but it's not placed this way and the prices are slightly higher Near the market there is a line of fruit stores 3 for 4 dollars, what is this? It's like a green fat orange What is the one, the yellow one there? Lemon Lemon beside? Or, uh, just orange just Orange, the one beside? Winter melon Whoa, so smart Okay, this one? Longan uh, mango also. Yeah, smart. Okay, this? Avocado. And that one? What's the name? Uh, the, the, the... I forgot already. Sour salt. Okay, this one? I forgot already. Star fruit. It looks like a star, isn't it? And this one? Mango also. Papaya. Really, man? Yeah, because mango is soft. Papaya is hard. Okay, this one? This one? Uh? Yeah. Uh, potato. Yeah, potato. I don't know what that is though, but it looks so nice inside. Bean sprouts, right, come from green beans. Question, can you use red beans for bean sprout? Yeah. Yes. And then why don't anybody use red beans for bean sprouts? Because green is from the tree, why? Because green is from the tree? I think so. Uh, okay, the actual reason is because red beans are more expensive. Oh. So unless you want your bean sprouts to be very expensive, they will use green beans. Fruits up. So nice. So fresh. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, this is beautiful. This shop that sells soya bean and yotel right it's like the best place to buy your soya bean and ching chow this is the first time you can actually buy a drink and you cannot finish it <laughs> he usually finishes a drink very quickly oh my gosh the straw went in it's too big from this drink store i love to cross over towards this coffee shop because there is a line of pet shops which is called pet walk pet walk is uniquely found here so let me bring you over to pet walk this is the beginning of Pet Walk and uh, we're not supposed to be filming so much so we're showing you a lot of products but no faces. Pet Walk is the best place where you can get the cheapest tanks and pet products. Like this one? This one also? Same, same. Same, same. how it float some in the... Pets being blown dry. <laughs> they are first being cut. This looks like a Japanese pizza. Just look at the sheer number of birds that you have here, okay? And this is just one store. The head is so cute. Okay, there's these furry antennas that are flickering constantly. Hi, parodies. Oh, you look at me like you're so shocked when you see me. Hello. Haven't seen me before. So they were like really moving a lot. And then when I came here and I looked at them, they suddenly gave me their attention. Oh, you're asking me to take off the chain? You want to take off the chain? Hello. 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 Hello.
though. There you go. Oh, <laughs> not pin there. Pin there. Pin there. Oh shit. He laughed at me after he took it. Hello. Now, if you see these kind of pills right beside the shops, don't just walk past them. There are usually things inside. Look at the number of crickets in there. Okay. What's that? Crickets. Look at these fishes. Yeah, I like this one. I like the pink and yellow one. Actually, I like fishes that glow. Hi, angel fishes. Angel fishes are super hard to take care of though. I've tried taking care of angel fishes so many times. Look at how huge this cage is. Both of us can actually fit into this cage. This is a bird's wing chun board. Ha. Practice their martial arts. Ha. <laughs> if you're Singaporean and you're walking around this area, it is of great certainty that you will come to a point where you want to withdraw money maybe to purchase things that you love around this area because with the same amount of money that you can spend elsewhere, you can buy so much more here. There are two places where you can find the ATM machines. One of them is actually at the corner where you see the road. This is the main road coming into this small area and it's also across block 106. And the other one would be at the NTUC, which is somewhat in the middle of this area. So these are the two places where you can actually withdraw your money. One of my favorite stores whenever I visit this area is actually Guardian. They have a lot of sale items outside the store. It feels so tempting to sometimes just get whatever you need. All right, so even though I've shown you many things so far, we have actually only walked about two thirds of this whole area. And there's another one third which has really good stores that sell very good food. That other side is more towards furniture and food, so I didn't bring you there. But there's a community center and a nice place, excellent place for you to take pictures. It's like a rooftop that is for heavy vehicles. So obviously this means that the multi-story car park is much taller and higher than usual. So with that, I hope now you have found a new place where you can roam and spend tons of time and enjoy yourself at in Singapore without actually having to spend any money at all. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Stay cool, stay awesome and be your best always. Bye!